Hello, hello. I'm going to be doing a little playing now for uh, the game Anno 2070. It's a strategy game. Uh, it's very fun, very addicting. Um, it's set in the future. A lot of the older ones were set uh, a long time ago. So this one is uh, quite interesting. Um, it's got a lot more depth than the older ones, I think. Um, at first I was a little worried, you know, that they might be trying to get a few more casual gamers, but this is, uh, you know, better than the earlier ones, I think. It's just excellent. So right now, first thing I like to do is uh, build a little city center for my people. And um, I usually like to keep a little bit of space in the middle. Um, just for later on because you get some really big buildings um, so yeah I like to keep a little space uh, right in the middle there I like to just build on the sides and outwards for now and if you make any mistakes or you don't like where something is don't be afraid to just um, destroy it and then remake it uh, in the spot that you want um, when you start a continuous game, which I'm playing right now, you can go to the options and you can make it so you get your money back um, when you do stuff like that, so it's quite good. So anyways, I got my city up um, and I got a few little houses there. Um, houses use up building materials, so I'm going to have to build a little building module set here. This shows you what you need to make it, so I have to build two things. I'm going to build one of them right there. And this one you have to put the fields. So I'm just going to place them up there. And then we want to do the second one, which is the smelter. So they pretty much collect the stuff from the other one, bring it to that second one, and so on and so forth. It's pretty good how it's all set up. Like if you want to make something, um, it shows you right there what you need to make that. Next up is fish. Um, fish is pretty important. I usually build a bunch of them on my main island, a few, and then on my other islands, if you can see up here, I have a second one. I just set it so we have a secondary uh, warehouse. So usually on my other islands that aren't the main one, I usually just build a lot of fish things and sell it from there. Now you can do the selling yourself with your boats. You can load them up on your boats and go sell it to the AI, or you can do this. You can go to trade and you can press the red button and sell whatever you want. That city from now on is going to be selling that stuff. You can set how much you want to sell and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to set both of my cities right now uh, for selling fish. Um, we haven't met anybody yet, so we can't sell to anybody right this second, but soon enough we'll be able to uh, sell stuff to the computer. So here's the arc. Um, this is a new addition to the series, which is really awesome. Um, from your previous games, you can load up some of your resources and items and stuff and uh, bring them into your new games. It's quite awesome. So right now I'm just going to load a few of these things onto uh, one of my boats. It's not cheating, because these are from my previous games. <laughs> it's quite a good addition uh, to the series, this arc. So what I loaded there was uh, two little items that you can buy from the AI. Um, this one lowers energy. And um, the other one is for, um, makes your tool workshops work better. And tools are very important. I'll be making tools here in a few minutes. Um, so yeah, you just load those off the boat. And as you can see, where it shows your goods, you just want to hit items right there. It's right next to the trade icon where we want to sell our stuff. If you click on items and you see all the items there, those ones are in use. Um, so yeah, I get those bonuses right now, so that's pretty awesome. That one gives my wind parks uh, more productivity, and the other one, like I said, increases your tools. How may I help you? So I'm going to load some of these other things up here. I got a few tools, um, and something from my arc. There we go. I also brought something over to make your ships faster. As you can see, they're going pretty slow now, but you can get something that makes them go faster. It's a little I item that you can buy from different computer people. So same thing, just if you want to load stuff off of your boat, just left click on it and I'm tossing the stuff in there. Um, with this boat here, I'm just going to get him to rip around the map. I'm going to send him way out there. Um, just to, you know, see new islands, see where we can build more 
islands ourself and also for the computer people. Uh, we want to interact with them. So I'm going to build a few more houses here. You want to keep an eye on your uh, building modules up at the top. There you see, I just found a new island. That's one of the AI people. So right now I can trade with her. There's the uh, ship right there. There's the warehouse where the ships go in. So I can buy stuff from her, as you can see here, tools and stuff you can buy. From other AI people, you can buy items too, um, which give you bonuses, make your ships faster and do more damage, whatever. Um, it's quite wicked. Registering mainland. So there's another island. So right now, this ship that's just ripping around while I'm building and doing stuff has found two islands. So this is good. I also found one of the AI people. So I'm going to send them up to the top of the corner while we're building some more stuff here. So you want to keep an eye on your supplies here, of your re resources. You just have to click on your warehouse and you can see how much um, fish, uh, tools, and uh, everything that you have. As you can see, I didn't build a road there for those people that I just built, so they're a little ticked off. <laughs> just gotta make sure that you connect your houses to the roads. That didn't do uh, much there, just because I fixed it quickly. But if you leave that for a while, they'll get pissed off and move out. So these are just houses that I'm putting up. I'll zoom in here so you can see. There's people going about. It's a very beautiful game. Um, as you level up, as the houses um, get bigger, they look just awesome. And a lot of things unlock as you progress uh, through the game here. So right now, um, if you click on Concert Hall, that's something I can build in a bit. It says I need 144 people. Right now I only have 52. So I did just build some houses. I might build a few more. Um, another thing that you can do, which is good, is you can fast forward. Um, you can fast forward the time. So let's say that you just planted a bunch of houses, built a bunch of houses, um, or you're waiting for something to happen, you can just press the uh, the plus uh, key and you can speed the game up a little bit. There we go, got a few houses there. So you check there, I have 66 people now, I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. There we go, we now have 78, 82. So yeah, just keep building houses. Um, you can see I'm a little low on the building modules. So that's what you need to build houses. And that's what these two things are building, is building modules. I only have one of them set up, so I think I'm going to build another one. Um, for a lot of these things, I have a nice little organized way to do them. Um, these building modules, I don't really have a way yet. No special way, but as you can see um, later on, when I start building T, which I'm going to do right next, that's what your people need uh, for drink, is tea at the moment. I have a nice little way that I do the tea things, you'll see. It takes up little space. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I'll show you that right here in a second. Just planting the farms for those uh, extractions. Okay. So now I'm going to build a cool little uh, tea thing, but I want to build it uh, on its own. So if you want to build a new depot, you just click on this button and you tell it where you want. I think I'm going to place it right over here. Okay, so here goes. Right next to that, what I want to do is uh, build this tea plantation. Um, you don't have to do it this way. I find this way really good. So you just place it at the top on the left side of the top. And then on the right side, you place it at the top. On the bottom, you place it on the right side. And on the left side, you place it uh, just at the bottom there. Okay, so we have four tea things uh, set up. Before I build the actual tea farms, um, the plants and stuff. I'm going to show you just how to do the roads here for this.
do it really quickly. Now this doesn't take up too much space and it's uh, it's very efficient. Um, as you can see that red icon is just telling me that I haven't built the the plantations yet so I'm gonna do that right now. Um, for the one at the top you just want to do one at the top then to the left and then just in the little slot there. Now click on the next one and just do the same all around it. Um, if you if you need like a piece of paper or like a file of a picture sent to you, I can send you a picture that I took of this uh, screenshot. That might make it a little easier for you. Just let me know, holler on YouTube if you need that. Okay. There we go. We now have a nice efficient uh, tea area made up here. As you can see, the carts don't have uh, far to go to pick up the tea when it's done. You know, just a small little road. So that's really good. That's going to be giving me a lot of tea. Okay, next thing to do is a little energy shortage here. It's because I've started building so many things. So I'm going to build uh, a wind park. Now, you don't want to put these things right next to each other because you'll get decrease in their production. So try to put them uh, away from each other, but right on the edge. So they're not, you know, miles away, but so they're not touching each other on the edges. Okay. There we go. Those things are going good. Um... As you can see, here's another AI person. Um, you click on them, you see you can buy tools and building modules. And if you click on items on the bottom right, you can buy all kinds of stuff. See? These are some of the things that I took from my arc earlier, from my other games. These are uh, fertilization seeds. On each island, you start with three fertile um, items, but you can also add one more. So if you go to the AI, you can buy stuff from them. This right here, if you don't like these things that he's selling, you can press that for an amount of money and it'll reset what he has in stock, so pretty cool. So I'm going to grab this guy that was just the boat that was out there exploring, and I'm going to send him um, up to this island up here, and we're going to set up a trading route um, so you guys can see how we do that, because this uh, they have 66 fish right there. They're getting quite a bit. Uh -huh. I told the computer that I'm selling that. Now, they usually don't um, buy a lot off of you right off the bat, um, but as you get going, th they'll be buying a lot of stuff off you automatically. I'm just going to uh, save the game here. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I'm just going to turn this volume down a little bit. I think that's mainly the voice. There we go. Alrighty, let's keep going here. So this boat here is just on its way over to my little secondary fish island. Um, and we're going to set up a little trading route. So the fish from this island goes to my main island where all the people are. And the people are the ones that need the fish to eat. Um, you can also sell the fish. I'm going to be doing a lot of that. I'll tell you that right now. Um, I'm going to be selling a lot of it coming up here. If you have any extra stuff, if it, your inventory is full, then uh, it's good to sell it, get rid of it, so more can be made. So as you can see here in my main city, I don't have much building modules. They are getting made here, but I do only have two of them, so I think I'm going to make a third one. There we go. And then just remember to... Um, to place the uh, the fields and stuff here after you do some of these things. Make sure you don't forget that. There we go. So now we have a third, third group of those made up. We'll be getting the building modules a little faster now. And I'm going to send that boat back to the Ark and pick up a few more goods that I uh, have there. As you can see, I have one more spot um, for the special ones to be used. I think I'm going to do the uh, vegetable one. As you can see on this island here, I'll click on it. Um, tea is fertile. 
rice is and coffee is. So we have one more. We have the question mark there. That means we can do one more thing. For sushi, which is the food that you're going to need once your guys level up, your city levels up, is sushi. So I'm going to build a... Uh, I'm going to bring over a vegetable seed plant for the fertilizer onto my boat. And I'm going to bring it um, over to the city and set that up. I'll show you how to do that. You actually have to click on those ones once it goes to the city, unlike the other ones. Um, what else do I need? Maybe a few building modules. Okay, here we go. Now, this boat up here is now there. As you can see, these blue icons, that means it's full. So if we click on this warehouse, go to goods, it's maximum fish. So now we're not getting any more of the fish. I'm going to load up this one. Um, pretty much all of it. Oh, these people want to buy some stuff, so I'm going to toss some of the fish back in there for them to buy. See, as you can see, these people are already buying stuff off me. This is Professor Davi. We'll see what he's buying here. <laughs> um, and then we'll set up a trading route just so most of the fish goes to my main island there for our people. There we go, he just bought uh, 12 fish, so I made 120 bucks just for not doing anything there. The computer came and did that on their own. So I'm going to load this up. So he has 40 fish. Um, I'm going to build one more fishing thing there. Yeah, you don't have to put the fishing things on the island, I noticed. You can just put them out here. It's a little bit better. It doesn't clog up all your space there. So I have 40 um, fish there. I'm going to send that 40 fish in that boat all the way up to this guy. And I'm going to sell it to him. Okay, so right here, this is the um, fertilizer seeds for vegetables. Just click on that, and I brought some of those building modules for my arc. Building click on the items here. Um, you can see these two are up and working, but this one on the right that I just added, the vegetable seeds, you have to left click on that new one. See? Available. She just said new fertility available. Um, and there's an icon up here now for vegetables. Now I can make sushi. Um, when I unlock that ability, it's going to be coming up soon. As you can see, I just unlocked Concert Hall, because we now have enough citizens. I'm going to put the Concert Hall right here, I think. There we go. And the Concert Hall, they have needs. Your people have needs. The Concert Hall um, gives them one of the needs that they need, so it's very good. It satisfies the need for activity. There we go. Uh, more things just unlocked, so there we go. We're going along nice and fast here. We just unlocked tools. So that's what you need to build buildings and wood, which you also need to build some stuff. As you can see, the next one uh, is health food. But I need 360 eco employees. That's the next level. As you can see, the houses here, one of them, two of them is, have leveled up. You see they're bigger. It's no longer the ghetto. Um, the house looks nicer. It's getting bigger. So those people have leveled up. I have to get <coughs> a certain amount of those next level advanced uh, citizens to be able to uh, build the sushi. As you can see, another one just leveled up. I now have 52 of the building modules, so that tells me that I can start building a whole bunch of these houses. Houses are what gives you money. Think of it as like tax or whatever. If you want to see what something does, just highlight its icon there. And habits generate credits. There you go. It also tells you what you need uh, to make it. So there we go. It's going nicely so far here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how to do a trading route. You want to click on the icon down in the bottom right. It's the third one from the right side. It says strategic map. Or you can press F6. Now you just press new trading route. And then I try to make the habit of clicking on my main city where the people are, the citizens are. I try to make a habit of clicking on that first all the time. So I click on Tectonica there. And then I click on my secondary uh, island, which is the fish. There you go. As you can see, there's a white line now on the map from city to city and now you need to tell it what you want to um, send on the boats so my main city's name is Tectonica so Tectonica you want to have the goods being offloaded so that's the red one 
You want to click on the red one, then click on the fish. And then for the bottom one, you want to hit the green one, because that's, they get loaded onto the boats from that city. So that's the fish you want loaded onto the boats. And then they get dropped off in Tectonica. Next, you want to pick the ship. Um, so just check your ship's name. You can see where they are there on the map if you want. I'm going to send Serena. And then there you go. It'll automatically do it. Now, as you can see, this boat is on its way. Awesome. And you can see on the map, there's that white line. That's where they're going. So now up to the top where this guy's going to sell some fish to the computer. You just left click on it and this will come up. Just accept it. There we go. So yeah, you can buy a bunch of good items from this guy. Um, if you want coffee seeds, if you want solar tea harvest drone for sale. That improves all tea plantation buildings on your island. Energy consumption minus 25%. That's not bad, so... Um, keep an eye on what the computer has. You can buy them and use them for the, for your first game, or you can um, take them from your first game, save file, and start up a new continuous game. Um, and use those same items. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so as I showed you a little bit earlier, we have something new that unlocked. It's the tools that we can make. We have a good amount of tools, um, just because I loaded some off my arc, but I'm going to show you how to go about making some of these tools. You need to find mines, first of all. You can do one mine or two mines. Uh, if you can find two together, that's good. But if it's just one, that's okay. You can set up another uh, depot at another spot, you know, and get it that way. Okay, so I'm going to build one here just on the edge. And then you want to click on tools. And as you can see on tools, it takes four buildings to make these. So you need iron mine, and you also need a coal mine. What I've noticed is that you need two iron mines um, for every one coal mine. So if you do one of each, you're going to get more coal than you do iron. So just a little heads up there. So I just built the mine right there, as you can see. They're working there now. Now you just need to connect a road. Just remember to connect a road to all your buildings. And now, as you can see, um, on this little depot or warehouse, you can upgrade it. Increases the number of transport units and expands the island storage. So that means you can hold more of, st of your things, your resources. So I'm going to do that on my warehouse here. Level it up. There we go. There's this uh, ship delivering the fish to this island. Very cool. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is load up some of the extra fish at this place because fish is getting dropped off, 40 of it. So I'm going to take 40 of it. You want to make sure that um, the fish doesn't go down into the minus. It will be an arrow that shows down. Right now it's green and showing up. So that means they still have enough. So that's all good. Now it has 80, so I'm going to take a few more. I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take 80 of it and leave them 50. And this time I'm going to go sell it to this green lady over here. It's a little bit closer. Okay, next I'm going to build a few more houses. Keep that going. There's also some wicked little decorations here. I'll show you some of them. Um... Yeah, I'll show you some in a bit, when I have some space there. So it's good to have a few roads in here in case you have an accident, like there's a fire or somebody's in health problems, then it's good to have s some streets so they can get in at all times. So I usually do like groups of four at a time and then put a road. It seems to work out pretty good. Okay, so if I zoom in here you can see a lot of these houses are now level, uh, the next level up, so they're growing. There's only those two there, and then these ones that I just built, they're obviously level one. As you can see, there's now some flying, uh, little cars. Um, it's awesome. Little ships. It's really, really beautiful graphics. Uh, if you zoom in, it's awesome. So right now, um, I only have the iron that I need to make those tools, so... What I need to do next is build um, another depot. Registering energy shortage. 
And then get my coal mine right there set up. Okay, it's good if, if you can get them all together, you know, two, two mines together, but it's not totally important because once the goods get going, they go to your depot and then other depots can uh, get them and use them, so. Okay, so now we have the coal and the ore, the iron ore being uh, made at the mine. Um, now we have two other things to make, which is the iron smelter. That takes the ore and the coal and combines them. So there we go, we're going to build one of those. And then we need the final one, which is the tool workshop. It requires iron and it produces tools. So that's the last, uh, last one we need to make tools. There we go. All up and ready to go. I'm going to build a third mine uh, somewhere soon, just so we have another coal, or not another coal, another iron one. Okay, mm -hmm. so this person here, this boat here, is ready to sell the fish to her. There we go, 560 bucks. Just keep doing that in between um, when you're doing your building and, and whatnot. It's good to get rid of some of your access uh, resources. Um, I'm going to upgrade this depot here. You just click on it there. It's the picture of the house and the plus sign. As you can see, it just upgraded. It's a little bigger now and there's more people working. So now you're going to get your tea faster at that area. Okay, so this is the boat that just sold the stuff up to that uh, green lady up there. Um, I'm going to take a break here and I'm going to make a part two video coming up in a second. Um, so I have these two boats here which have the stuff that you need to create another island. What you need to create an island is just building modules and tools. And then you just go to the island right next to the a beach on the island and then a little blue icon will pop up. So there you go. I think I'll show you how to do that right now. I'll send it to this guy over there. And while they're doing that, I'm going to build a few more houses. Up in the top uh, left-hand corner, you can see the, what money is being made. Right now, we're losing 130. At the start, um, it'll be like that until you start building, um, you know, a ton of houses. So I have quite a bit of um, building modules now. I'm going to start building a little bit more houses here. Okay, here's a spot where I can do a good, um, good little representation of what these uh, ornaments are all about. I'll zoom in too so you can see them. There's the, some little gardens. I'm going to place a garden, a garden. Oh, the glass bottom isn't unlocked yet. What else can we put in there? There's a tree you can put. All kinds of cool things. I guess I have to unlock one of those. There we go. And I'll put another flower bed on the edge. Awesome. There's my little uh, ornament area with a garden. And uh, as you can see, th these other ones are unlocked. So as we get further into the game, I'll unlock some of those ones and show them to you. I'll build a few more houses, and then we're going to start that other island over there to show you. Mistake right there, placed it in the wrong area. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That's a good little uh, sized, good little sized area there. I'm going to build some more coming up. Maybe I'll build one more before we go to that island. Now you might have to build more um, of your concert halls because as you can see most of them are being covered by my concert hall but these last two I built aren't so you can build another one closer and, and they'll get them there. I'm just going to erase those for now. It's okay if a few of them are outside of the area. That's perfectly fine. Construction opportunities expanded. There we go. So I just unlocked um, something else that we can build. It might be the sushi. Yeah, there it is. We can build sushi now. So that's because we have 
a uh, certain amount of these next level people as you can see a lot of these houses are real nice looking here there we go okay so I'm just going to uh, go over to this other island and see that blue icon there build warehouse there you go I'm going to place it over here so I get this uh, mine also and I'm just going to build it to start off on this island. Later on these islands are going to be secondary islands are going to be very important to build things. Right now I'm just going to sell a lot of fish, build a lot of fish at them. Um, and then I'm going to set up at another trade route um, for this third island to go to my main city again or to automatically go to the computer's uh, area which might be a good idea too so yeah I think I'm going to um, stop for now um, but I'll be back in a bit to make uh, part two of this video I'll just build a few more houses here um, I'll show you this this is what you need to build sushi so this is for the next level of people um, you need vegetables, which I just got the uh, item for in our main city, so that's good. And, and rice, which we already had the fertilization for, so we can make these from our main island. It's good if you can make the food at your main island, because that's important. Um, if you have them on the isl other islands, it's good too, but then you have to wait for the time for them to import to your main city. So, yeah, there we go. In the next video, we'll be making a bunch of uh, cool sushi areas, um, kind of similar to how I did this tea area there. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Thank you for watching uh, vi uh, my video. Um, I'll see you later. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.